Um, at the very end of the concert, he like drives away back to his hotel. She went up and like tried to grab him out of his car, like starting to take off all her clothes and the guards had to take her down. Everyone's like, she's insane. Hi guys, so it is 6.47 a.m. here. And I woke up a bit early because the blinds were open and the sun um, made me wake up, but that's okay. So today we have, um, my mom and I, we have our um, PCR COVID test because every three to four days when you land here, you need to take a COVID test. Um, my hair's so messy. Um, so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go straight there on a train because this is a big surprise. My mom's so excited for this. We're gonna go on a train, head to some place. These were watching a concert here. Uh, it's one of my mom's favorite K-pop stars. I'll put a photo of him up here and his name because um, I don't <laughs> remember his name. But I just, I also wanted to join the concert uh, or go to the concert as well because it seems like it would be really fun. Just a good experience, even though I don't really listen to a lot of his songs. And I thought that it would just be cool. So we're gonna do that, but it's kind of an all day thing. We're gonna be heading to the train station at like 11 and then we only take a train at one and it's like an hour long train ride. And then, um, we have to wait in line or something because we already have our ticket, but apparently we still need to wait in line for something. And the concert itself isn't until, uh, we're gonna reach the place at like two and the concert itself isn't until 7.30. So I have no idea what we're gonna do. And it's like two, two and a half hours long. So we'll end at about 11 and then be home by like 12 or one. So I'm really hoping tomorrow we don't have any plans because after today, I'm just gonna be done. I'm so exhausted. I, I can't like do anymore right now. But yes, yeah, so that's the plan. Um, I'm not too hungry, so I'm just having water right now. Um, <clears throat> it's also just way too early to eat anything. I'm just way too exhausted. But yeah, so that is what we are going to do. And it is um, Friday. Oh, it's also July 1st. So happy Canada Day, y'all. Woo! Or at least here it's July 1st. In Canada, it's still June 30th. But yeah, it's Canada Day. So that's great. Last, uh, not last year. Oh my god, wait, last time I was in Canada was like three, four years ago. I mean, Canada during summer, because there was a summer break that I went there, and then COVID, and then I went there winter break, but I haven't celebrated Canada, uh, I haven't celebrated Canada, uh, ah, I can't speak, y'all, <laughs> I have not, oh, this sun's actually also finally coming out, because it has been non-stop pouring the past couple days, and this is the first time it's actually sunny, and I'm living for it. It's making my mental health feel so much better because it's not just pouring and depressing outside. But as I was saying, um, I haven't uh, celebrated Canada Day in Canada for like ever, so that sucks, but it's okay. And we're actually leaving in in three days. Like this weekend went by so fast. I swear, it. I know it was like a week, like we've already been here for four days but it feels like we were only here for two days because every day we did do a lot but it's not necessarily that we went to a lot of places it's just everything took up so much time that it feels like we weren't even there for here for this long but yeah so that's what i'm doing we also got some oreo thins there they're like a white vanilla cake flavor but i haven't had it yet and i have this we actually went down to the 7-eleven got more of this also, yeah, this is my favorite hoodie. I wear it all the time. It's an obsession. But yeah, so that is the plan for today. And it sucks because I have a portable charger, right? But the portable charger is currently at 1%. Um, it I think it looks like 10% on the camera. It's not. It's at 1%. Um, well, if you turn it upside down, it's 10% and then you can feel good about yourself, but no, it's not. Which sucks because we're gonna be doing a lot of sitting around and waiting today and I'm gonna wanna just like chill out on my phone, but the portable charger is dead. So I'm gonna try to bring like one of these things with like a cable and like an adapter. If this will, yeah. Um, so hopefully if there's any place to like charge, um, I can just charge my phone up and continue watching Netflix and stuff. 
my hair is kind of yellow so I really want to use the purple shampoo so I don't want to leave it so nice here but I'm also kind of excited to finally get home and use purple shampoo and conditioner because like the strand at the front that's a nice color but then there are little bits and pieces here where it's just like so yellow so I really want to change that and like it's also so poofy because of all of the rain and my straightener just broke so I haven't been able to use it so I haven't been able to straighten my hair so I've kind of just been living with it being poofy like this but yeah so that is how my morning's going that is the plan for today and I will check in with y'all whenever we're doing anything new as y'all can see, the sun is finally out. It took way too long for that to happen. So this is my fit for today, or at least for now, because I'm gonna head down to Starbucks really quickly. I'll take y'all with me, get something, and then come back up so we can chill out a bit before going. Okay, so whoops, turns out I completely forgot my mask. I didn't realize until I was at the cafe door, but then the barista was just like, it doesn't matter, just come in, get it, because you're taking to go anyway, and you can just leave. Plus it's a cafe, so everyone has their mask off because they're drinking. So he's just like, it's okay. So that was good. I got a coffee for my mom. I didn't get anything for myself though. It looks so nice here when it's sunny and not just stormy and gross because I love rain. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love rain, but this was just way too much recently. Okay, so it turns out at this place, a PCR for one person is $200 and usually it's only like 50 or 60. So we're just eating something and we're gonna test at a different place instead. There weren't any restaurants to eat at, so we're just eating <laughs> Bingsu again. That looks so good. I need to figure out how to open this. Ooh, that looks so good. I'm gonna put this on the side here. And they also have like this coffee drip thing, so I think I'm gonna put that on later. I'm just gonna try this first and I'll drip this on. So there were a lot of protests, which made there be a lot of traffic. Also, it's noon, which doesn't help because there are a lot of people trying to go to lunch. And we were heading to the station, but we forgot the concert tickets. So we had to go all the way back to the hotel, get the tickets, last minute, sprint back here. Now we're finally here. Um, I'll go more into detail later. Um, but we made it and we have like 20 minutes to spare. So we're gonna sprint into the station and get on our train. Okay, so we are on the train now. It's so pretty and I'm so happy. We ended up finding a charging port, which is great because it's gonna be a long day and my phone's almost dead. Um, so I have an hour long train ride and I can just watch videos while charging and they have Wi-Fi, which is great.
Okay, so it turns out we're not allowed to take any photos or film anything. Well, I think we're not allowed to film anything. I don't know about photos, but I'll try to just get a few nice shots for y'all. Hey guys, so um, I know y'all actually can't see me. Wait, let me try to figure something out. There we go. Hi guys. Okay, so right now we're at a gas station um, for bathroom break. These are carpooling with a couple of my mom's friends. Also likes this artist that she met. And they're um, helping us get home. Um, we've known them for a while, so we're not just hitching a ride with random strangers. It was a long concert, but it was amazing. And the guy, um, Im Young Woon, sorry, they, they like left music on in the background, and I don't know how to turn it off. Oh, but this is one of the, his songs that he sang, and it's a really good song. But when he sang it in the concert, it was amazing. Like he's a really good singer. Like and such a good performance. Like for two and a half hours, it was so entertaining. So I'll fill y'all in with more later. So it's 2.03 a.m. and we're finally back at the hotel. Um, I'm probably just gonna change, brush my teeth and go straight to bed. I know I said that I would do just a little like update and summary of today and just like the drama that went down and everything but I think I'm gonna hold off on that and um, tomorrow when I wake up I'll um, fill y'all in on everything um, yeah, tomorrow I'll fill y'all in on everything, but today I'm just way too exhausted. Hey guys, so it is the next morning. It's 10.23, 10.23. So I got like eight and a half, eight hours of sleep. That's okay. I would have rathered more, but you get what you can. There's not good lighting here, but the sun is literally out. So I'm gonna sit in front of here. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's actually good. I can probably stand y'all up on something like my shoe, but I don't want the angle to be like downwards, so I'll just like hold it for a bit. Anyway, um, the concert was amazing. So we went there. Um, so first we went out for a COVID test, um, because every three days when you land in Korea, uh, no, the first three days, not every three days, the first three days when you land in Korea, you have to get a COVID test. Um, so we did that, of course, but it was dumb because the COVID test place that the government recommended us, um, a COVID test for one person, and I already said this, was 200 US dollars for a single person. Usually it's like 60 US dollars for one person. This one was literally 200. So we were like, no. Three other people came who also had to do their um, test after like their flight. And we were talking to them and like each one of them, they heard the price and they were like, no, 
<laughs> what the hell? No. So we ended up actually finding a place that had it so that it was $50 per person. So we ended up just uh, paying $100 instead of $400, which is a good thing because we don't want to waste useless money. Um, but no, not useless. No, we don't want to waste money on useless things um, like that or unnecessary things that shouldn't even have to cost that much. Um, also sorry about my hair. It's just not it today. Um, so it's not, it's not looking great. And today's probably gonna be more of a chill day and I will still make a vlog for today and it'll be a separate video. This will go in my video for the vlog from the previous day because I said I would add this in. Anyway, it'll make sense once it's all published. Um, yeah, y'all will see this. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> but yeah it was really fun and i um yeah so we were out at 10 30 for no 9 30 for the COVID test and then we went to a different place at like 10 30 and um after that it was uh we ate for a bit um i i had the bing su which is what i showed y'all and it was like uh 11 30 by then and then we got a grab to go to the train station and it was crazy traffic because there was protests going on it was um i could be wrong but the taxi driver told us that it was like um it was uh the labor workers uh, protesting for higher wages so i think that's what was going on not 100 percent sure uh, they had signs written in korean i can't read korean um uh, my mom can but side brand anyway but yeah and then um it was like because of all the traffic and also it was like 12 um so everyone went to go out for lunch and stuff there was traffic because of that but then at like and mind you our train leaves at one o'clock and the next train is only in like 40 minutes or something so our train leaves at one um and by now it's already like 12 because of like how bad the traffic is we are heading we like left the um, the food place at 11.30 and it was 12 and we only made it a little bit down the road and then my mom realized she forgot the concert tickets oh my god like uh, you know I'm not a big fan of well I've never heard of the guy before um it turns out I've been pronouncing his name wrong it's not Lim Young Woon it's Im, like the L is silent. I don't know, you guys. I'm sorry. I don't speak Korean. I'm trying my best. Oh, also, this is just a really cool thing that I wouldn't like point out. There was this, um, there's this one YouTuber who, like, posts videos about like um, the singer who also goes by I'm Hero, I think, because I'm um, Hero is his name in English, and then there's the I'm instead of the L in the front of it. Anyway, um, and he was going around, and we were the only foreigners there only foreigners everyone else was like korean which makes sense because it was in itcheon i think the place is called itcheon i'm not sure um everyone was surprised that we went all the way there and my mom she can speak korean so there's this one dude who had like a, like a crazy amount of subscribers and he came and interviewed her and everyone like every time she talked um they were all surprised that she could actually speak the language which was crazy and she actually um this is way ahead in my story so i'll go back a bit but uh she even got to uh talk to the guy for a bit he um sh her like seat was close to the catwalk area of the stage and before the actual concert he was kind of doing rounds um and like before he started singing and she was the only person who looked different like there so he went up to her and he was like oh hi um are you a foreigner um hello and stuff like that so i just think that that was really cool that she got to have that experience because i'm not like a crazy big fan of him but she really is that was cool but anyway yeah so it turns out we forgot the tickets so we had to go all the way back and the traffic was horrible so that means that like it took 30 minutes just to get back to the hotel and we were right next to it anyway so it was 12 we got the tickets got the grab after uh, no not the grab the uber after a bit because there's no grab here um and we made it to the train station at like 12 40 like barely made it um which was great and then we stressed out and had to like run down to our train because our like 
like cabin thing was like the farthest thing um but then when we reached uh we had some friends who were part of the fandom kind of pick us up and that was amazing but they were heading to the concert earlier so that they can like get like things and take a bunch of photos so we ended up meeting them it was great we and then we all drove to the place where the concert is being held and it was like 1 30 no not 1 30 no the train stopped at like 2 so it was by like 2 30 2 45 we reached the concert place right did nothing but wait around for the concert to start um <laughs> that entire time the concert starts at 7 30 um we reached at like 2 30 um like bought a few things and just did nothing the entire time and i was so exhausted and super tired because i woke up really early that night and slept really late which is kind of my fault but you know it's vacation um but yeah so that was like really annoying so i thought that the concert actually wouldn't be that fun because i was really tired and the only songs i've heard from him are slow songs so i thought he would just kind of be standing on the stage and i've been to a concert before they're usually like really hyped up but i just thought um i like expected this one to be really chill like him just sitting around and like singing on a chair or something i don't know i went in there oh my god like y'all will probably see in the clips um it was so hyped and i probably can't put the songs i'll have to like put my own music on like the different music on top of those clips because copyright laws but it was amazing the intro was crazy everyone was like going crazy and by everyone i mean like all of his fans his fans are mostly like over 50 range there are a couple like younger people there but it was mostly older <laughs> ladies which i thought was sweet but yeah and everyone was going crazy and it was so entertaining the background dancers were like amazing and he had like a whole brass section and like a little band behind him and it was like really really entertaining and in between like he would do three hyped up songs and then stop in between and like make jokes and talk to the audience of course i couldn't understand because i don't uh, understand korean but everyone was like laughing and he would do like a fun like talk with the audience and then he would after three hype songs do that it's like a break and then do like two or three slow songs then do another little break and one time he like played this movie like this short film um that he starred in as the main character and then the ne um and then after that like break it was like I think three four minutes after that he came in as like the main character of that film like in the film um he filmed it himself so it was his face on the character but then the next song was about that film so I just thought that it was really cool even though I couldn't understand any of the songs I picked up on a couple things which was really cool and he also did this did uh, he also did this thing where it was like um this leaderboard with a bunch of like it says brass or chorus and stuff and he would just like point to it and let everyone clap while like the guitarist for example does a cool solo and things like that so i thought that that was really great um it was pretty engaging even though it was quite long um and there was also um i heard i don't know how right a lot of my facts are but there's this one lady in the audience that goes to all of her concerts and is at the very front row and apparently she's like crazy like a couple times um, at the very end of the concert he like drives away back to his hotel and a bunch of people line up to say bye to him which is why a few people were leaving the concert early so that they could line up we didn't because i'd rather see the concert than wait in like the road or something um but turns out like twice she went up and like tried to grab him out of his car and apparently uh, yesterday we left but um uh, people were texting like the group chat um, that the, they all have that the fandom has and uh, the person that was driving us home was like oh my god apparently she was like starting to take off all her clothes and the guards had to take her down and everyone's like she's insane but it was a lot more fun than I thought it would be um, the ending like sucked because like the drive home was horrible because I was so tired and I just wanted to go to bed but that was the entire thing and it was really fun I'm glad we went there and I do hope that y'all um, enjoyed all of the clips that I showed. Bye!